Does Alda Devil Eye you well? Excellent, yes, I'm pretty good, thanks very much for asking. Really tired after yesterday, we had such a fantastic day out yesterday. And um, yeah, if you've seen the vlog, it's kind of long, but there was a lot of stuff jammed in there. We crammed so much stuff in, we went to Wookie Hull, we went to Cheddar Gorge, we went to Western Supermare, we saw the guys doing the kite surfing there, that was pretty cool. Then we stopped off at pretty much every pub we possibly could do on the way home to try and find somewhere to get us a table and actually ended up getting a table about five minutes from home um, in a place called the Dundas Arms. Thank you very much guys for uh, finding us a table and the food was fantastic. Really, really good. If you're ever in uh, the West Berkshire area near Newbury, head out towards Kintbury. There's a place called the Dundas Arms. Absolutely the D's B's. Really, really good. Anyway, so today is um, a bit more of a chill out day. Well, for Susanna at least anyway. Uh, she's doing some gardening and just like relaxing a little bit. I think she's going to do some ironing as well, which isn't that relaxing but it means I don't have to do it so that's a good thing and uh, me I'm gonna be sat in work most of this afternoon doing some work and um, it's kind of it's half past three at the moment so I shouldn't have really said morning I should have said afternoon but yeah we'll just see where the rest of the day takes us it's pretty much work based for me at the moment try and get as much work done as possible and uh, also bits and pieces happening with the project that went a little bit awry the other day. So yeah, we'll see what's uh, we'll see what's happening in the next few days and stuff. But things are looking pretty good. I've got um, a possible video for someone else, and I've got a video to finish off, and I've got my macaron documentary to finish off. And speaking of documentaries, don't forget links in the section below. You can go click on that and give a pound if you can afford to give a pound to making. Uh, size doesn't matter a YouTube documentary where I'm going to be talking to you guys about why you make content I want to find out all about your passion why you're creative why you give yourself a second job every single day or on a regular basis at least making animations and singing songs and doing sketches and comedy and stunts or whatever you make whatever you do on a regular basis on YouTube I want to know why you do it and and what is it that kind of drives you forward other than making a living because you're not making a living from it because you're a small YouTuber like me and um, I just do it for a passion I like to be able to look back over time and, and see what it is that I've captured over the years that I've been and gone and we've captured some pretty amazing stuff so yeah I want to chat to you guys all about it and make a film about it so if you've not heard about the uh, the project go and read the treatment it's a, a link in the section below it'll take you through to an indiegogo campaign you can read the entire treatment what i need money for uh, where i'll be going to do the filming who i'll be talking to kind of i have some people on board the project already but we need the money to make the project happen so if you can afford to give that is amazing thank you so much please do give a dollar a, a pound whatever you can afford to give but if you can't afford to give at least share the project with people who you know because that's worth just as much as well if we can get it out in front of as many people as possible hopefully somebody will be able to afford to give at the moment it's been out in front of about 500,000 people i've had a lot of people and i mean a lot of people contacted me on private messaging and emails saying i want to be involved in the project and as i keep going back to everybody i just have to say the same thing it's a great project that's brilliant and i'd love you to be involved hopefully some way or another in the future but it's not going to happen without the funding. It really isn't. It cannot happen without the funding actually landing and us getting that cash in so that we can actually make this happen. I can't afford to fund it myself, sadly. I'd love to. I would absolutely love to, but I don't have seven grand spare. And uh, I need to travel around a lot. I need to talk to a lot of people. Um, and yeah, we need some kit to do it. And I need flights and petrol and hotels. And I need somebody to be with me at certain points. And so yeah, it's a, it's a big project. And I really want to make this happen. And I know how I can make it happen, but I need the money to do it. So if you can get the word out in front of as many people as possible, and I know this sounds like I'm begging, and I kind of am, but, um, but please try and tell as many people as you possibly can. Anyway, I've really got to get back to doing some work and not talk to you guys, otherwise this is never going to get done. Oh, this is just wrong, really wrong. I came through to make a coffee into the kitchen. Somebody's brought in a coconut cake. Oh no, oh, and this is still in there. I'm alive. I'm gonna have a piece of cake to go with my coffee.
Yeah, my afternoon in the office just got a whole lot better. Coffee and cake. <laughs> I still wish I was at home. Afternoon done and dusted. I have no idea what Susanna's been up to, but I'm going to go and find out. One thing I do know is she doesn't want to go out for dinner, which I suggested, and she doesn't fancy it. So she's probably asleep. <laughs> I'm sure she's not. I'm sure she's probably just been working really hard and can't be asked to go out. But she could be asleep. Okay then, guys. Bit of a quiet day today. A lot quieter than yesterday, to be fair. Um, it's mainly been because it's been filled with work and then coming home and just trying to chill out a little bit actually and just relax a smidgen before uh, an exciting week ahead. Well, hopefully anyway, you just I just don't know what's gonna be happening. I know I've got a few projects to work on, but no real big work coming in this week. So we'll see what comes on the email. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I've got the gym tomorrow morning and uh, I will see you guys bright and early there. Uh, thanks ever so much to everyone who's commented today, especially those of you who've come on and said happy birthday to Susanna, uh, Bosist, and Jesus Sirius, and Marto, and Shirley, and Bosist, and every everybody anyway. Thank you so much for all the comments. We will see you guys tomorrow morning. Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, sweet dreams, and have a good rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Bye. You're watching Stop Jabbing On. Shut up, he's logging here, stop jabbing on, like what up? He's from the UK and he's anything but boring, stop jabbing on, starts his day with a...